Hello. We are continuing with our journey into the Django documentation. The section getting started. It's first steps part and tutorial part three, views and templates. Okay, just give me a second. I just want to change my view to dark mode. So I open my extension dark reader and on. That's it. Okay. So this tutorial begins where tutorial 2 left off. We are continuing the web poll application and we'll focus on creating a public interface views. If you have trouble getting through it, then you can go with getting helps in the FAQ. Okay. So, an overview. A view is a type of web page in Django application that generally serves a specific function and has a specific template. For example, a blog application, you might have the following views. Blog homepage, display the latest view, few entries. Detail page, permalink page for a single entry. Year based archive, month based archive, day based archive, those are the displays all entries in the given day, given month, and given year. And also we can, will have a, may have command action, handle posting commands to a given entry. Um, do you remember the MVT structure? In that we are talking about the view as a user interface. So it is easier to imagine that it's like on your screen at the moment. You What you see is the view if you are on uh, the Django web application. So the view will show you the design and layout of the template. That shows the data, data from the model. So the view is the interface where users see, read uh, information and also interact with the web application. That's easy to understand. Then we go next. In our poll application, we will have the following four views. So at the moment, we have not have it yet. So the question index page, the question detail page, the question result page, and the vote action. Those display the particular question for index, for detail and result, and also the voting uh, particular choice of the particular question. Okay. So, what is our view at the moment here? I will close it. This was from uh, the last uh, video. Now, post views here. At the moment, we only have the uh, index request. Return the uh, hello world if, uh, clause. Hello world, you are in the post index at the moment. Okay? So, in Django, web pages and other content are delivered by views. That's what we see in the uh, MVT architecture. Each view is represented by a Python function or a method in case of class-based views. Django will choose a view by examining the URL that's requested. To be precise, the part of the URL after the domain name. Now, in your time on the web, you may have come across such beauties, yeah, really beauties, as, as like that. Oops, that, yeah, really beauty, because you may not understand it, uh, what it is, yeah. And you know that links to something, okay, to this mod, dear mod, HTML, and then uh, okay. You will be pleased to know that Django allows us much more elegant URL patterns than that. What elegant? A URL pattern in general form of a URL, for example, news, yeah, that's easier to see. Yeah? News archive, then year and month is better than that like that here. To get from a URL to a view, Django use what are known as URL configuration. And a 
URL conf maps URL patterns to views. Okay? This tutorial provides basic instruction in the use of URL comfs. And you can refer to URL dispatcher for more information. So click on that and you will go will redirect to the URL dispatcher page of the documentation, which you may use when you are at the intermediate or advanced level when you do the real programming. Yeah? But now we just need to know that. Okay. Writing more views. Now let's add a few more views to post view.py. These views are slightly different because they taken an argument. So here, last time uh, our views were where's our views? Our views here at the moment has no nothing. It's just a request and then a return, return a HTTP response and return that clause. Hello world, you are in the poll field. But now what we are doing, we will add this here. Add a few more views. So we will add detail, results, and vote. Each has an argument uh, here. Well, show the clause you are looking at, then what is input by the uh, user, the question ID, okay? And one thing good about the documentation is that there's a click here, a, uh, a button here, copy this code, kaboom, and it's copied. And then we go here, and as it said, we just need to add, so I add control V. So, that's you can see we add already and then control S to save it. Okay. Write this new views into the post URL module by adding the following path. Okay, so now we have to open the post URL file. Okay. At the moment we have only uh, import path and from uh, folder import views from post here. We will import views here, which we will use the uh, views for the URL here, path here. Okay, at the moment we have our path from the last uh, actions, tutorials. Now what we need is to add why this new views into, okay, we will change our new views to like that, but path views, and uh, here's, I feel index here, but just need to add, add another command here so that we can see example. I say uh, X, I think it's example. Type post, then you will have this. And you type post and a question ID, for example, five, then we'll come to this. And five results will come to this. And uh, post five vote comes to this. So either you can adjust your your code with that, or because it's almost the same here, path view. You can compare, it, yeah. Like go views appearance, and then we close the activity bar. This bar here, views appearance. Close activity bars, and and also we can close this one here. Appearance, primary sidebar, and you remember the shortcut is Control B, okay? So now we normalize it, uh, and here we normalize it. And a good thing of Windows is here. Put something on the edge, and then it asks you what is beside of this cascade, and here. Okay, side by side. So by side by side, we can compare it easier. Okay, so you see, almost the same, almost the same, but here is something different. So either you copy and replace the whole bunch of uh, code here, 
or are you a justice uh, amethyst only? Mine, I think I go with like that. Control copy, and I just need to replace this part only. Control V. Hey, what the thing? Uh, I know, I know, I know. It's here. Okay. So now we have the same codes. Huh? That's some convenience way. Take a look at your browser. Oh, we have to take a look at our browser. So we have to turn back here, Control S to save it, and then open our beloved command prompt. From that, we will rerun our our, our, our Python managed py run server. And we are in. As so we are in, then we go to a new. 127.0.0, ah, here we have it, and post. This is Hello World, um, here, remember that. If you go post only, then you go to the home page, the index page. Here, you are in the post index, okay? And then, it's generated by view. Here. Views. Hello, world. You are in the post index. Hello, world. You are in the post index here. As you can see. Here. Hello, world. You are in the post index. That is when you take the index request and URL here. If you, for example, take post. So, like say they said, uh, we have to take uh, 34. Okay, then we take 34. 34, enter. You are looking at question 34. So, if you put here, like this, example 5 here, then it will go to detail. And in view detail, we have detail here. You are looking at question and then the percentage as and here the question ID. The one that you put in here, 34. Here. 34. So you are in question ID 34. Okay. Jang will load my site URL Python module because it's pointed by the root URL setting. That's what we uh, we said already. It finds a variable name URL patterns and traverses the pattern in order. After finding a match of poles, it's stripped off the matching poles. It's stripped off the matching poles here, the, the things above here, and just take the 34. Yeah, here it's set here. And send the remaining text 34 to the post URL, post URL here, and to the post URL, you have further processing. There, it's match its integer colon question ID, which is 34, resulting the detail here. Um, resulting the detail here. It's a view and URL here. So, resulting that one, that example here. Because we have only a question ID, the path and the question ID. So, that's why it matches with the detail. If you have a result, then it goes to result or vote and goes to vote. But here we have only that. Uh, instead of five, we type in uh, 34 for a question ID. That's why we have it here. Okay. So he has explained detail request issue object and question ID 34. The question ID equal 34 part comes from integer question ID using angle brackets, captures part of the URL and sends it as a keyword argument to the view function, to the view function here. So the keyword argument here is 34. Question ID will be 34, okay? Uh, where, where are we? The question ID part of a string defines a name that will be used to identify the match pattern and the integer part is a converter that determines 
what patterns should match this part of the URL part. The colon separates the converter and the pattern name. Here, integer question ID. Okay. Right views that actually do something. Okay, now that's we just doing something respond and some uh, text only. So now we're doing something that actually works. Each view is responsible for doing one or two things of two things. Returning an HTTP response object containing the content for the requested page or raising an exception such as the HTTP 404 page not found. The rest is up to you. You can view, uh, your view can read records from a database or not. It can use a template system such as Django's on a third party uh, Python template system or not. It can generate a PDF file, output XML, create a zip file on the fly, anything you want, using whatever Python libraries you want. So that's what the view can do. All Django wants is that HTTP response or an exception. So we have only either HTTP response or an exception. Okay? Because it's convenient, let's use Django's own database API, which we converted into Turtle 2 already. We play with the API, as you remember. We add some WhatsApp also. Here's one step at the new index view, which displays the latest five poll questions in the system, separated by commas according to publication date. So, post views, post views here, uh, Django import response here, and then uh, we have to add the, yeah, are we? We are in post views pi, post view the pi, okay? So we have to add more. From model import question, okay. From model import question, we have not import question yet. What they ask us to do? Old Django right? Because of uh, letter which we should be like this. Here is one step at a new index view. New index view. Okay. So index view here. So we will add something here. Yeah, that's what I but before that, we have to, as you see, we, the convenience is that you can compare it here. So we need to add uh, from that models import question. Okay? And as it's done because we have not used it yet. So the next at the moment is return, HG return, hello world, yeah. But now we change it to here. Okay, we change it to here. To copy. So instead of using that simple thing, we will now make a complex thing. So latest question list. Ah, oh, reading here is easier. Latest question list is equal to question is Question object ordered by public date and show the last five. Output separate by comma join uh, key question text for a loop, yeah, for key Q in uh, latest question list. Okay, so print out all what show what we found, those five separated by a comma. And return issue response output. Okay, that's it. Leave the rest of the views detail result vote unchanged. Here, the rest unchanged. Okay, that's it. There's a problem here. So, 
The page's design is hard coded in the view. In the view is hard coded, yeah. If you want to change the way the page looks, you'll have to edit this Python code. So let's use Django's templates. Now we're working with templates system to separate the design from Python by creating a template that the view can use. First, create a directory called templates in your post directory. Django will look for templates in there. Okay, first we do first thing first. Okay, now what I notice at the beginning is Ctrl B. In the post, we create a new uh, directory, a new folder. Which we will name it templates. Is that right? Enter. And Django will look for templates in there, of course. So, so that's that's why we are creating it. Your projects template setting describes how Django will load and render templates. The the default setting file configure a Django templates backend whose App there option is set to true. Uh, we have to go to setting and what templates? Templates here. Templates. I think I go Control B so I can see that here. Templates app there set to true here. So the back end of templates is here. Django, Django templates. Uh, I man, 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 man. Don't go that far. Okay. The DS is here. Option. Okay. That's here. So, by convention, Django templates look for a template subdirectory in each of the installed apps. So, the subdirectory is pose. And templates, yeah, and we registered our posts here already, so that it will look into all subdirectory of posts for a subdirectory names templates, okay. And we created already, as you remember, Control B. I, I sorry, it's not there. Sorry, it's here. Uh, Control B. Here, posts templates, okay. I think I'll close this setting because we are not mentioning doing anything with it. And within the templates directory you have just created create another directory called posts and within that create a file called index.html. Okay, so within posts Templates, we create a new folder named Posts. Everything has a reason to do that. So why we do that, then we will see it later. And in Posts, we create a new file named index.html and enter. And here we open it already here. It's templates and posts, okay? Index HTML, okay, here. With then create an index. In other words, your template should be at post templates, post index. Because of how the app directory's template loader works as described above, you can refer to the templates within Django as post HTML. So, that's the easiest way because we have used it, uh, described it in the path, so we just need to refer to that post index HTML. And it is from the post application, okay? Template namespacing. Now we might be able to get away with putting our templates directory in post templates rather than creating another post subdirectory, but it would actually be a 
bad idea. Oh, so don't do it. So do it like they said you should do it. Post, templates, post, and then index. Okay? Django will choose the first template it finds whose name matches. And if you had a template with the same name in a different application, in a different application, Django would be unable to distinguish between them. So, for example, if you have post and then you have, uh, for example, uh, vote application and vote application also has a template named index HTML, then Django will hard to find which templates index HTML are you mentioned. That's why you have to post and post and also maybe vote and vote later. Template vote. If you have a uh, application named vote. Yeah. We need to be able to point Django at the right one and the best way to ensure it is by namespacing them that is, by putting those templates inside another directory named for the application itself. Okay. Put the following code in that template in the index HTML. Uh, we just need to copy. That's if the way I love. And control V. Okay. And now we see what is it said. A bunch of code. As ampersand, if this is a length for if, if, latest question list, if there's a list, then uh, unshorted list, this is HTML, and okay, we will come back to this in a second. Now, if you, un if you know HTML, then it's good, you don't need to, but you can skip this part, but if you don't, then go with me for the HTML tutorial. Learn HTML just a little second. Okay. And maybe I go for basic. Okay, here. That is an HTML document. Which you see on your web page is the back end is like that. And document type is HTML. Then we have the all HTML uh, document goes with text. So HTML, then close HTML. Body, then close body. Uh, header one, then close header one. Paragraph, then close the paragraph. So this is the header and this is the path within the body of the documentation. So if you have body, means that you also will have header and footer, okay? So, but this is the simplest way to explain it. So, back to L, we have UL. UL means um, unshorted links. Go to links here. So, the hyperlinks, the links here, either uh, HTML has the A tag different, uh, defines the hyperlink, hyperlink and A, A is uh, here, I'm prepared, ready, Google, what is that? Uh, the simplest way is here, A is an anchor element, okay, so A stands for anchor, that's to remember, so uh, HTML ref, href, then the URL. URL now you get used with it already. So, and the link text, etc. For example, here HTML, and then we school, visit school. Okay. Also, we have unshorted link uh, list, and ah, here's link. Sorry. I have to go to list. But anyway, it's good, yeah, that to know what A is. Okay. Uh, so you have items here to list out. So in that unordered uh, HTML list, and when you have an unordered, for example, you have an open tag, then you have a closed tag. Unordered list, then 
close there another list and within this other list list of coffee list of tea list of milk open and close the tag okay and audit list audit list is the difference of an audit okay then open tag close tag open tag close tag just remember that yeah so it's easy you see HTML is really simple okay back to our things so we have the if statement if this is real it's true then take the unshorted list so and then we have a loop for question in latest question list for the question here within the, because the list is true then for each question in the latest question list list the post list uh, from the post question ID okay how many question ID you have list it out for me okay so and and for for and for if and if here but before we end if we also have else no polls are available means if that's nothing in uh, to show then there will no polls available and then and if easy to understand note to make the tutorial shorter all template example use incomplete HTML in your own project you should use complete HTML documents okay here we go to MDN web page a complete HTML document is like that here it's HTML the hat the body and also sometimes most of the times the footer okay and open close open close remember that for me yeah HTML open tag then close tag hat open then close hat body open then close body okay meta title something sometimes that's it p and so okay but now what now let's update our index view in the post views go back okay back here then back here back here back here back here, back here. how can i go back here okay back here control b close that go to back to views here we have views and what it said now let's update our index view and post view.py to use the template so we have HTML response we have loader we have question huh? we have HTML response we have no loader yet and for models import question for models import question but there's no loader okay so from Django dot template import loader okay and we have not used it yet that's them okay uh, define index requests now they ask us to update the index view index view here the index view okay we update it to at the moment before this time we are using last question ID by public date and join and that's what we used last time okay now we change the question ID by public date as the same exam and instead of output we use template here here you see the templates poll index instead of using that output here and the return issue templates okay also return change to templates so I will copy this one to copy and change this one Control V that's what they asked us to do okay not so complicated that code loads the templates code to polls index and pass it a context the context is a dictionary mapping template variables names to Python objects 
load the page by pointing your browser at polls and you should see a bulleted list containing a what's up question from tutorial 2 we we had a what up question there the link points to the question detail page okay so if you type this polls before that we have this 34 but now we are not using 34 we just need the polls and we will see the list the link to the list ah, oh sorry sorry i have not saved this yet i just save one thing that we always forget is to save to save okay now back here refresh here see what is that uh you should see a bulleted list containing the what's up question bullet here the bullet and the list and if you click to that link you are looking at question one okay that's good man here and what's the link shows link shows one one okay because we have only one mm -hmm. that's great now we are using a shortcut render it's very common item to load a template fill a context and return an HTTP response object with a result of the rendered template Django provides a shortcut provide a shortcut here is the full index view rewritten so the index rewritten index index here the full index view rewritten so if I don't know here's the full index view sorry views not index HTML template view the index here the index view here so now you see Django shortcut import render oh, last time I said this is important that's why I commanded out now I just need to uncommand it shortcuts import render and only then only need model import question model import question so we command out this command out this who knows later we need it or not okay so render we have not used it yet but what we need to do is uh, here latest question same but now we use context okay latest question list and latest question list uh, instead of template now we use uh, context and then we render that to our post index okay we uh, don't need the templates we use a context and instead of using HTTP response we will use template uh, we will use the render so the first two change it that we command out the template here we are not using template there and only use a context okay uh, now we make it fastest here come to copy index here and replace with that come to V so that's easy to explain here okay note that once you've done this all these views we no longer need to import loader and HTTP response that's why we're not using it you want to keep HTTP response if you still have the stuff methods for detail result and vote hey we still have it there yeah? detail result and vote that's why I just question it okay there you see request 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 uh huh uh huh so we still need that still need that control s We still need that. Okay. 
the render function the render function takes the request object as its first argument a template name as its second argument and a directory as its or optional third argument render take the re request as the first argument post index here the template name as the second argument and the context as its third argument it returns the http response object of the given template render with the given context so okay we see what we have done Control S. Hey, 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 hey. What? Uh, here. Control S. Always got Control S. And Control S. I think I have not do any change there, but okay. Now, <clears throat> refresh. Nothing change. Okay. You are looking at question one. Nothing change. But if you go with results, and okay, that's good. Also, vote, vote. Okay, it's still working. And detail, detail. Page not found. Ho ho. Why not found? URL detail. Ow. Detail is only, yeah, with no detail. The path is no detail. That's what. Detail is detail. You don't need to type the detail. Here's detail. That's it. Okay. It said you are in question one. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Now comes to raising a 404 arrow. Now let's tackle the question detail view, the page that displays the question text for a given poll. Here's a view. Um, post view, post view. Now what you need us to do? Okay, from HM import and then render. Okay, okay, here, control copy, home, enter, control V. Okay, and then from model import question, from model import question, from model import question here, and define detail. Uh huh, now we adjust detail. Here, adjust this to thing. From return HTML, you are looking at question, yeah? Now we change to try an exception and return. Copy, control V, control V, main home. Okay, so try. What is it? Try the question object get. Uh, primary key so let's try whether we have the question ID like the input in the question okay then if there's question does not exist then raise the HTTP 404 question does not exist return render re request post so render is return is like uh, we said already request the link URL link of the detail HTML post detail HTML we have not created it yet have we I don't think we have created it yet and question the new concept do we have it control B no, we don't have it yet. We have only indexed HTML. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let let's see what I say. The new concept here: the view raised the HTTP 404 exception if a question with the requested ID does not exist. 
will discuss what you could put in that post detail HTML here. We have not that. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, just a moment. Template a bit later, but if you'd like to quickly get the above example working, a file containing just so now we have to create it. Okay, that's what can to be. And then the post here, new file, uh, name detail.html, enter. And in that, we just create that symbol. Uh, parenthesis, parenthes, I think, I think. And question. So it means just jump back to question. Okay. Control S. Okay. We'll get you started for now. Now, now get started. Now get started. Okay. So if if we go with the right, then it's not wrong. If we go with the wrong try that uh, does not exist. For example, we have one. A WhatsApp question is uh, primary key is one, but if you go to two, we don't have any other new uh, question. Then you will get a complaint. Yeah, one is going here. You are looking at question one, but now if I want a two, you are looking at question two. What the heck? There's not ah. Oh. Have I saved it yet? I don't think so. Save. Now, here. See? Because I have not saved, that's why I uh, understand the, understood the, the last, the previous version of views.py. But now I save, that's why I uh, use the new detail, try and accept. And because of the number two, the primary key number two does not exist yet. So that's why I raised a page not found. You can see question does not exist. If I go with my question one, it exists. What's up? See? Okay. Because we, when we go looking for the last five posts, we have only one post. Because we have only created in tutorial two, only what's up? The only one uh, question we have. So, if you're looking for 100, what do you think, you guess? You will, page not found, that's for sure. Okay, that's it. And where were we? Raising arrow, and here, okay, here. We'll get you started for now, okay? So next, a shortcut, get object or 404. It's very common idiom to use get and raise HTTP 404 if the object doesn't exist. Django provides a shortcut. Here's the detail view rewritten. View detail rewritten. Okay? So first we have to import uh, beside of render. Control B, Control B, Control B. Hey, man. I'm not there. I'm here. I'm, oh, man. Sorry, here, Control B. Okay, so that's I can compare. So, render, import render from shortcuts here. But now I, uh, I've been asked to add another one is get object or zero, 404. So, take a comma and Control V. Okay. Render and get object zero four and more question and da, 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 da. then go to detail. So instead of uh, using try and accept, we are not using that. We use question get object or for for question and also the primary key question ID. Okay, instead of using try, we go directly. So it's shorter. As you can see here, it's that long. Now we shorten it. Just two lines of codes. Control copy. That's why they sh use shortcut. Shortcut stands for shortcut. <laughs> Control V. 
yeah just two lines of code question get object uh, or so we get object or we had a zero, 404 um, page not found yes with the question and also the question ID and then return return a render request three parameters as request uh, the detail HTML and the question itself okay so don't forget to control s and what's next the get object or 404 function takes a Django model as its first argument and an arbitrary number of keyword arguments which is passed to the get function pass to the get function of the models manager it raises the HTTP 404 if the object doesn't exist we will check it okay but now philosophy why do we use a helper function get object or 404 instead of automatically catching the object does not found like the last last time we use it object does not found you remember exception at a higher level or having the model API race HTML HTTP 404 instead of object does not exist why because that would couple the model layer to the view layer one of the foremost design goals of Django is to maintain loose couple coupling some controlled coupling is introduced in the Django shortcuts model so that's why we use this instead of couple coupling the models and the views okay we use loose couple so that's why there's also a get list or 404 function which works as get object or 404 except using filters amen except using filters instead of get it raises the HTTP, uh, HTTP 404 if the list is empty okay oh let me try it first let me see now is our new thing so first we go with the one uh, one first that is what's up and we try we test our post so we have only what's up as the first question and the only question we have and is uh, detail is uh, primary key is um, one but if I go to 10 what will I get page not found no question match to given okay um app being a mean index and so, so that's it okay now what's next use the template system back to detail view back to detail view here for our poll application given the context the context variable question here's what the post detail ht ML templates might look like so now we change the detail HTML detail HTML instead of just a question now we change it to um, as you remember the tag of the HTML h1 uh, open tag close tag header and unshorted link an ordered on an ordered an ordered link open tag close tag and then we have the for loop is for choice in question choice set O list the choice choice text list and for okay so we have to copy this out the easiest way is to copy it and replace control V okay that's it control S don't forget it the template system use a dot lookup syntax here choice dot yeah, to access here you see choice dot choice text okay uh, 
to access variables to access variables attributes in the example of uh, question dot question text first Django does a, di a dictionary look up on the object question failing that it tries an attribute lookup which works in this case the attribute okay if attribute lookup had failed it would have tried to list a list index lookup method calling happens in the uh, for loop question choice set all is interpreted as the python code question choice set all and a method which re returns an iterable of choice object and is suitable for use in the for tag see template guide for more okay so now what will we have we will we'll try it okay first thing first what now looks like the same nothing happened oh we have here ah here it shows something here from detail okay what's up not much this guy those are the the choices yeah we create a question what's up in tutorial 2 we create a what's up uh, question and we'll uh, leave before we left uh, tutorial 2 we remain retain we have uh, two choices is not much and the sky okay and so this will list it list all of this here unordered list and list all what we have so we have the choice not much and we have the choice sky okay and if I make a wrong pickup like as for ta question 10 what we have page not found that's good man okay so we are here template guy okay we are here removing hard code URL in templates remember when we wrote the link to a question in the post index HTML template the link was part partially hard code like this uh, index index here here is the links. Uh, can you remember? Do you remember that? A is for anchor. And then we have the link here is the URL and a question. And then N4. Okay. So this is that. Here. Exactly the same. The problem with this hard coded, tightly coupled approach is that it becomes challenging to change URLs on project with a lot of templates if you have 100 no 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 100 20 or 30 templates then you cannot change it each 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 template yeah however since you've defined the name argument in the path function of the post URL post URL here here we have it the path function you can remove the reliance on specific URL path defined in your URL configuration by using the uh, parenthesis here, the structure, template tag. Okay? So we have to go with the here. So now new tag will look like that. Link, ref, but we use uh, template tag URL instead of the hard coded posts here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I pick it up here, control copy. Actually, I just need to uh, replace this one with that one. Actually, I should. Oh, okay, I will do it. Why have to copy all? I just need to copy that instead. Control copy. Here, I change this one, the hard code one, with this one, Ctrl V. So 
is here URL and then go looking for detail with the question ID as input by the user okay the way this works is by looking up the URL definition as specified in the post URL module you can see exactly where the URL name of detail is defined below so where does the name value as code by the URL uh, template stack is here the path the detail here the name is detail here so where does before we go we say first I, what the heck I'm not there yet I'm here okay now control s okay so go back to URL and we are looking for the name for the detail here that's what we have here okay the detail so that's the path it will look in that thing okay looking for detail question with a question ID so here the question ID and the detail okay if you want to change the URL of the post details view to something else perhaps to something like post specific 12 instead of uh, doing the other uh, template or templates you will change it in post URL so here here if you want another uh, uh, tag then like, uh, not, not tag is folder so showing that specific just need to add in the path here here just need to add it before the integer question type specific and then you have it okay now we check what we have just done is back here and back with our number one because we have only one what's up and not much that's good man okay namespacing URL names the tutorial project has just one app post in real Django project there might be 5 10 20 apps or more of course uh, let's see back here control B here we have only one app is the post app within my site project you remember my site project and then we have the post app within that my site project if we close it then here's post uh, my site project is the outside my site here and this is the folder of the my site the outer my site you see here open then we have the post app here but in real uh, application you may have invoice inventory stock or store or whatever so then each of that may have the same templates named detail same templates name index imagine that you have post and templates post details index and you have uh, invoice with also invoice templates uh, detail and index so what should we go for that is what the namespace is for how does Django differentiate the URL names between them for example post app has a detail view as I said for my example from invoice and post yeah? and so might an app on the same project within my site project here my site my big my site not my small my site a big one uh, also has the same like how does one make it so that Django knows which app view to create for a URL when using the URL template tag uh, the answer is to add a namespace to your URL config in the post URL.py file go ahead and add an app name to set the application namespace so back to our URL back here back here back here and I control B so that I can see the full and okay what is needed to add is here app name equals to post so it means that this is belongs to post and so you can imagine that 
uh, if you have invoice, then what? First thing first, app name equal to poll. I, I polls, not all polls. Okay, so that's easy because, for example, if you have the same structure but uh, from another uh, app, for example, control V, like I said in my previous, if I have another app names uh, invoices, then you see, of course, here will be invoice, yeah, not uh, post. If we, for example, will be invoice, invoices. But this is just an example, so anyway, that's make you easy to illustrate. Control V, make you easy to understand, yeah. Control V, Control V. Okay, so you see, if you have two apps, one names post and one names uh, invoice. Both also have index and detail. So that's, if you don't put the namespace up front, then Django will be confused with which one to use. Of course so, yeah. That's what they said for namespace. Delete. Okay. Control S. Now we have uh, app posts, okay? Now change your post index templates from blub 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 here to blub blub here, okay? Now uh, index HTML from here, URL detail here, which is just shown that look for a template name detail, but where to look for? So put the post there. Look in post for me, please. Look in post. Because maybe invoice also has detail. Invoice also has detail, like my example. So here, please go for post. That's what we have to change here. Here, before that, we go with post and a column. And then that's it. When you are comfortable. Oh, okay. Ah, we are at the end. Okay, okay, okay. Before we end, Control S. And now what's up? Let's check from the beginning, post. Here we have what's up. And that's the detail of number one, okay? Everything is just the same, but the back, the what behind the screen, the scene, what behind the scene is what we have done. Shorten our code and doing some good coding uh, practice, yeah? Okay. And check for our raising of um, page not found. Yeah. Okay. See, if you make a a user put in a question that does not exist, for example, question three does not exist. Then okay, question two, not three. Okay, but we have question one, one question one, and this is here. With the two choices, not much and the sky. That's it. Okay. Finally, when you are comfortable with writing views, read part four. And to learn the processing and generic view. This is for the next video. So, thank you for watching my video. And hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.